Okay. Okay, that's exactly it. Okay, we're holding 190. Yeah, 192. He's speaking about the development of a child, what Hashem provides. We left off, you know, in terms of the way the mother has breasts to nurse the child. And the nourishment increases based on the need of the child. When the child sucks on the nipple, the hole is just right, not, not too little or too much. The child is entire from sucking. And Hashem created the mother's ability to provide the child that everything is exactly as is needed. It's, it's like mind-boggling in terms of what Hashem provided. Like I always say, we stop to think for a moment. You have hospitals. It could be five square blocks, 20 story hospitals, equipment worth billions of dollars, endless personnel, doctors, right? You have long heart machines, you have dialysis machines, you have this, you have that. Kodesh Bo creates this little body. You have two little kidneys, you have a, a, a brain, and you have a functioning body. This is more than all these blocks of medical equipment and all this know how. It's all contained in this little body, and it functions. The blood is purified. Everything is, the toxins are extracted. Everything, it's unbelievable. This is amazing. You know, I want my name on that building. No? No. As long as it's not the laboratory. But just, you know, I want it on the building. But that, that, of course, who creates a human being fully functioning, where one small detail is the equivalent of a whole building, you're not amazed. I would tell the person who does believe in God. This is amazing, you know, this machine. It's amazing what it does. You couldn't live without it. And that you have a kidney that, that, that functions and healthy, you couldn't live without it either. You sing God's praises. No. That's what he's pointing out. The breast of the mother providing for the child and how it provides. The child doesn't choke on the milk because it comes out as the child sucks just enough to provide. And the milk is produced based on the need of the child. The more the child sucks, the more milk is produced. It's amazing what a Kodesh Bochum provides. You know, afterwards, as the child begins developing, the child initially doesn't see, doesn't hear. You know, you have a newborn baby, whether it's your child or your grandchild. You speak to your daughter, he's smiling. Oh, you have such nachas. <laughs> you know, he's smiling. Okay, so what are you smiling at? Say, you say, Baruch Hashem. You know, we once said, Baruch Steinman, should live and be well. A number of people are there. He spoke in Hebrew. And if you ever see him, or you see his apartment, his apartment hasn't been painted in 70 years. 70 years. He himself, at Baruch Hashem, is going 103, maybe 103 sukkahs. 120, he should be with us to be in the Kabul to name a Sheikh Tidkano. So they wanted to paint his apartment. He says, What do you have to paint my apartment? As long as it's clean, what do I need to paint it? And he's the epitome of what? Of anything he has is because it's <coughs> utmost necessity. If it's not a necessity, he has no interest whatsoever. So we're sitting there, he has his, his mic, we're in the room, and must have 15 of us. And he speaks to the group. And he says that, um, he says this couple, they had a little child born to them. And the child reaches a certain age, they buy him a toy. And the child plays with the toy. And the child and the parents have such nachas. They smile, they see the child interacting with the toy they bought him. Okay? The child's already three years old. And it's a toy, it says on the box, you know, keep the, I'm adding this. <laughs> From one to two, he's three or four, he's still playing. They say, okay. You know, it's not delayed development. The pediatrician has nothing to worry about. The child's already 10 years old. He's playing with the same toy. Okay? They realize they have a serious problem, the parents. He's 15. He's playing with the toy. Then they realize it's really, they have a problem. What happens if he's 25 years playing with the toy? Then they realize it's, it's beyond, beyond, beyond hope. He says, 
We as people, we're playing with toys all our lives. The fabric, the paint, the bricks, the amenities. He says, what are they? He says, they're all tattooing. All toys. We're busy playing with toys our whole life. After 120 years, what are you going to say? How did you invest your life? Playing with toys. That, that, that's what he said. And when you heard it coming from his mouth, it resonated by every one of the people. Right? That was the message. <laughs> the child develops. He's able to see. He's able to hear. Now, what a parent will put up with, a stranger will not put up with. There's a special love and attraction that a parents have to a child that another person is not because it's not their child. This is otherwise, a parent would not care sufficiently or provide sufficiently for their own child. What you do for your own child, you won't do for a stranger. But that itself, that itself is, 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 a, is a chesed Hashem. Otherwise, it's too burdensome. A parent wouldn't be able to deal with it. It's only because there's a special chain and rachmim that a parent has to his child. That's why it's not too burdensome. You know, this is the old expression. One mother could have ten, ch ten children, but ten children can't, can't, can't host one mother. That's the way it is. Why? Because, that, because otherwise a parent would not be able to raise a child properly. What you have to go through and put up with and tolerate and invest and be infringed upon, that, that's why this world is, 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 is totally dysfunctional. You know? People, they say, you know, I can't handle more than one child. You know, I have to, you know, I have to have a life of my own. More than one, I it will totally infringe on my, my, my freedoms, my life. What are you talking about? But that's what it's all about, you know? That's 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 the the, the, the profits your investment of your life, right? I'm, but there's a special chain and chesed. A child is never too burdensome, right? Never too burdensome. So what is it? So the world has become literally dysfunctional, and there's a, even in this area, it's dysfunctional. I once had a case. I'm not going to mention names. Very, once a very uh, the couple was their first marriage, and the woman had a son from previous marriage. Very wealthy woman. And she had a son, came to on 63rd, she once dropped in, not religious whatsoever. And she says to me, I hate my son. She's a secular woman. That's, that's her word. She says, I hate him. And she said it with, with a passion, how she hated him. Okay. You want to tell me, you know, uh, your son doesn't give you nachas, your son aggravates you. But to express it that way, okay. Because it d doesn't go her way. It's from secular, well, beyond but that's the way it is, okay? But if you're a mother, who ever heard of a mother expressing herself this way? To be continued. Tatsuin. That's it's not a French word. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look, here is the mitzvah zekelim abeyu. So she write a beautiful Sefer Torah, have a beautiful talis. When it comes to a mitzvah, something else. This is personal, this is unrelated to mitzvah. Alligator shoes. You understand? Gucci alligator shoes. You pride yourself in that. You pity the alligator, what alligator had to be, have to be killed. Okay. Something to aspire to. Okay. You don't hear about it today, the alligator shoes. Okay. Alligator at the shake case. Somebody used to have those. $4,500. Okay. As they say, you know, you know don't pay attention until you stand in his shoes. You gotta, okay. Question what kind of shoes he stands in. Okay.